Hey guys, welcome back to the Outside the Lines podcast. I'm your host, Caitlin Kohey, and unfortunately, my co-host, Tia Adkinson, cannot be with us today, but instead, I have my other group member, McKinley Johnston. Hey! So, the first thing we're going to talk about today is the football media day that we had last Wednesday. Um, We were prepping a lot, and we went hard for it. Um, which is why we could not get a podcast out last week. But, yeah, McKinley, do you want to talk about what we did? So, yeah, for those of you who tuned into Football Media Day, you probably didn't see any of this happen, but off to the side, we had pulled the football players, and we were doing minute-to-win-it games and TikToks and funny interviews with them. All of that content you can go see on our social media accounts. But overall, it was a really fun experience. The players are so fun to work with, and kudos to them for coming out. Yeah, the players got really into it, especially for the minute to win it games, because we told them that it was like a competition between the two of them. And I think that that got them really into it, and then we hit them with the questions, and that kind of like, I feel like it relaxed them a lot before they had to go in front of the cameras and answer all these football questions. Oh, yeah, for sure. We did the Oreo challenge, Oreo on the face challenge with a few of them. <laughs> and shout out to River Katina and Fisher Anderson for actually getting the cookie yeah, in the face in under a minute. Yeah, those two were the only one. I think Fisher got it with 30 seconds left and River got it with 34 seconds left. It was pretty intense. You can go check out that video on our TikTok and our Instagram reels. It's I'll just say the techniques that were used were pretty funny to watch. <laughs> Caitlin, didn't last Saturday you go to the Titans training camp? You want to talk about that? Yeah, so last Saturday was the Titans training camp practice that the girls flag football for Williamson County got to go to. Um, We had a lot of girls from Fairview and a representative from each school come, and then me, Tia, and then our one of our leaders, Coach Joins, went as well. And Brooks was also there. Brooks got to take a lot of pictures, and he did. He got a lot filmed, and so he made a video out of it, which is pretty cool. So if you haven't seen that, it's on our Twitter. But yeah, so we just it was a really cool experience. We got to see watch all the players at practice. Um, AJ Brown actually came over and was talking to us for a little bit and like introduced himself. And like um, Ryan Tannehill came over and threw a football at one of the people that were there. It was a really cool experience just to be up close to all these players that you've watched on TV for so long and, like, get to see them doing their thing at practice and not, like, from far away on a TV screen or at the stadium. But, like, like I said, from far away, you get to be right up close on the field with them. So, yeah, and it was – it was. It was really cool for all of the girls flag football, like the girls that were there that are a part of the girls flag football to experience it. So, yeah. All right, and this Friday – the dreaded start of school. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to school starting. But, hey, um, it's only 16 days till the first game. Yep. First football game. I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most with starting school is being able to get out there and, like, be in a football game but, like, not in the stands kind of. Exactly. And right out the gate in 16 days is the rivalry game of the Battle of 840. We got Paige and Fairview right out the gate, first game of the season, Mm -hmm. that's going to be intense. So speaking of football games and student sections, we actually have a graphic that is posted on our Twitter and Instagram that you can go check out, and it ranks student sections based off their follower count, and in the lead, we have Summit, and in dead last, we have Independence, so... If that's not, if that doesn't light a fire under Independence, I don't know what will, especially for their rivals to be eight schools ahead of them in our in the stats. Mm-hmm. And Nolansville is actually ahead of Independence, which was a little bit of a shock to me. But we have been talking with the Brentwood student section leaders and Summit, watch out. I actually think Brentwood is hot on your trail. They're coming for that top spot. And speaking of top spot, I think we're going to have a competition this year between the student sections. So Yeah, so just, I mean, make sure you guys are in it and... In it to win it. In it to win it. In it to win it. I mean, you guys got to, especially independents, y'all got to get it going. It's the first year back since COVID, and hopefully everything's going to proceed like normal. So I'm hoping that everyone is making up for that lost time last year, and is gonna, it's going to light a fire. And this year is going to be one of the best years in school football history. Yeah, so just, I mean, we've got some big things planned for each student section. 
Um, student sections, if you're listening to this and you have any interesting ideas that you want to do, come reach out to us and we'll help you make that happen. Yeah. But yeah, 16 days. That's all you got. 16 days till the start. So tune in next week where we will talk more about the football season and what is coming up for our group. And quick shout out to the social medias real quick. Um, you can go follow us on Instagram at otl.tn, and you can go follow us on Twitter at otl underscore tn. But yeah, also go check out our YouTube channel, which is just Outside the Lines. That's where our weekly podcast is posted, as well as some of the content videos that we make. Go check it out. Mm-hmm.